I'm a storyteller, not a poet, and not a singer. I found a story from 14th century Europe. It is a Hebrew story that probably took place somewhere like in Krakow, Poland, from the information in the story, where they had some stoves for the wealthy people that were more squared on top, not that crony skin. It's important that you know that the oven, you can lie on it. Ah, yeah. good Russian oven. <laughs> yeah, <he's, coughs> it was, yeah, it was probably, but it was good. But you could lie on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In a small but prosperous village, there was a family that was well to do. But they had a son, I would guess he was a teenage, teenager, who had problems. And they kept him at home, and his father took him to, when he went to um, the synagogue. And his mother had to put up with him. He would loll about on the top of the oven. After the oven was off, that was his favorite place. And she was, it was holidays. <coughs> and he was there and in her way all the time, waiting for the oven to be cooled off enough that he could get on top. And finally she said, Yashim, Yashim, you, uh, you need to get out. You need to get out. But he didn't know how to get out. She said, Yashim, I want you to go out and rub shoulders with the rest of the world. Go. So she opened the door, and he was very pleased. He was cold outside. And he, he's, I'm, I'm not meant to make fun of anybody in this story, but he was very slow. Now, I'm a retired teacher, and I've never taught anybody this slow. But the sheet went out. <laughs> oh, oh, good. And he saw a small group of people. Oh, so we went around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> For which he was soundly beaten. Oh. Now, to tell this story, I'm going to need help. Okay. And the term for which he was soundly beaten is going to be repeated. <laughs> Say it with me. For, for which, which he was soundly, soundly beaten. beaten. All right. In that time period, it would not be unheard of for them to cuff him around and, and beat him for being in their space. So we keep it. Oh, they hit me and they chased me away. She said, she Son, when you see a group of people, you have to greet them. You can say, good morning, good day, and later on, good afternoon, good evening, good night, goodbye. <laughs> Just greet them. Can you do it? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I can do that. So he gets out the next day, and he sees this group of people, and he doesn't realize it's a funeral. And they have mourners who are weeping, and they have ashes on their forehead. And they are, it's just really sad. But here comes Shishin. <laughs> hello, hello, uh, goodbye. For which she, she was soundly beaten. And he comes back and he tells his brother about it. And he, oh, Kashim, please. Um, it was a funeral, and there have been several deaths in our area. Um, you will say, don't say, don't say hello, goodbye. Say, it was a young man, oh, to be taken in his prime. If it's an older person, you can say, may he rest a night in paradise. And you can cry with them. <laughs> so he goes like this. And he sees some people. And it, it looks like a funeral. It is. So he, he's coming up and, and oh, he's very eager. He goes back and he tells his mom, oh, uh, uh, I saw a funeral. <coughs> to shame you were learning. You're doing fine. Go out again. So he goes out again. He's a different people. But it's not a not the same atmosphere. They're singing. They're throwing flower petals. 
and they're having people up on this little like, platform. The buyer, it's a, a wedding. And they're very happy. He doesn't know that. They go, oh, 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 to be taken. So it is pride made him rest the night in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> He was, he was soundly, soundly beaten. beaten. And he goes back home and his mother said, oh, be ashamed. That was a wedding. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to cry. I tell you what, all you have to say, we'll make it easy, is congratulations. And you could dance along with them and be happy with me. Congratulations. He's willing. By this time, it's getting very late. He's been in and out of the house several times and come back. So he's to go out again. And he does. He's looking around. And he sees some people over in the area. And there's a lighter there. But I'm going to tell you, they were there because there was a house on fire and they Oops. wanted to help. And here comes your sheep. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Which she was soundly beaten. This time he goes home and he lives better or worse than I do. Oh. And, he, and he, he got back and, oh, mama, they, they, they hit me. Oh, you sheep. It was a fire. How do you know about fires? You can help. I can't. Yes. If there's a fire, you get a bucket of water and you go and pour it on the fire. You understand? Uh, I, I, I can do that. So he goes out again. Down the same way. <coughs> and it's dusty. The time of night. And the housewives are starting their evening operations. And he sees some smoke, and he says, Smoke! That means fire! So he runs, he finds a bucket by the well, he gets a bucket of water, and he goes to the house, and the smoke's on the other chimney. He climbs up, and he dumps the water water <laughs> the bucket of water down the chimney, dumps the house, the housekeeper's Fire. And she and her husband came out, and he was oh, soundly, soundly beaten. This time when he comes home, he's just really weary, and he's he's barely moving. Oh my! Oh! And his mother said, "Is she? I don't think it's time for you to rub his shoulders with the rest of the world. <laughs> Go to the other." <laughs> <laughs>